Tiffany, as I first reported last night, DCF has launched an investigation into Uber driver Gary Kitchens to see if any of the kids he was a foster parent to also might have been harmed. But there's another big question looming now. DCF says he was not a licensed foster parent. So how was he living in a group home for abused girls? Kitchens was showing off this new house at Place of Hope's Kids Sanctuary to us three years ago, a place where he and his wife would live with about six girls aged 8 to 17. But in light of the charges that Kitchens, who also works as an Uber driver, kidnapped and raped a female passenger last weekend, the question is, was he properly screened and licensed? Place of Hope won't answer us, but their website says their foster parents must follow these steps. Take 21 hours of parenting classes, complete a packet of homework and application forms, undergo two home visits, the second one the spouse and any family members must attend, then go through all local, state, and federal background checks, and finally submit that file to DCF for approval. DCF tells me it is now checking into how Kitchings was living with these girls if he is, as they claim, not licensed. He does not have a criminal background, and civil court records reveal he, he only has a bankruptcy on his record. However, I've learned that Kitchings has owned and operated other businesses, including a preschool and a senior living facility, and we forwarded that information to DCF for review as well. Felicia.